We can't call that mental brokenness. What's the fucking point in having a brain calculator if it can't fucking calculate? If it can't get the right fucking answers, why the fuck would I want it? Why would I want to watch that can't tell time? And the minute we can't be rational is the minute where our brain no longer functions. Take some neural tissue and sew it on top of a penis and say, there, human being. It can't do any better than that because it can't be rational. Where's your facts that the human race is somehow better off placating fantasy, fable, fundamental philosophy? Let's mix fables and nonsense with this idea of understanding of the mechanics of the real world and pretend we're good drivers. We wouldn't apply this to driving. We wouldn't give people licenses to drive if they thought, if I wish the car to fly over the other car, it'll go over the other car. We wouldn't let them drive on the road, would we? No, we wouldn't. So you're just playing a fucking game here and you're saying that this doesn't have any impact on our civilization and on the destiny of mankind and on the liabilities we exist with and the horrors that exist. Everybody machete to death and all the other shit that goes on in this fucking plant happens because goddamn people don't take any responsibility for the fact that they do train their children to be insane drivers. And that's the truth. And they're made insane by this bullshit that you fucking puke atheists are fucking spouting, which is just basically the smell, the stench of the shoe, okay? Yeah, you took the shoe off, but you didn't realize it's a stinky fucking shoe, and you gotta get the whole way out of the fucking house. If you leave the shoe of theism in the goddamn rationality house, in the acceptable house, it will stink and fester and putrefy the fucking house. You gotta take the shoe all the way the fuck off and throw it out the fucking window because theism is all bad all the time. Traditions of religion, the lies of religion, the fables of religion created human beings who raised their kids to be fucktarded and lunatic. They're raised on lies, they're raised on fables. You don't think that has some effect on their capacity to do logic in the future? Well, I'm claiming it does. Huge effect. Start them off with lies and they'll continue to lie. That will be the tradition. If you have no respect for the truth, if you show children that you have no respect for the truth, they will learn to have no respect for the truth. And they will grasp at anything that just sounds good because every fucking buddy else is doing it. You don't know that psychological pattern of mass this and mass that. You don't understand how we are human beings of, we have a habitual nature to mimic and imitate that's part of our learning feature and we train children to basically mimic and imitate lying you suck fuck you you're defeated i declare you defeated